Hey guys and welcome to my channel Mathlete. In this video we're going to learn a special kind of inequality and along with this I'm going to show you a common error that students make when solving this kind of inequality. So let's get started. Here we have a quadratic equation so I'm going to start factorizing it. So minus 6x can be rewritten as x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 is greater than 0. In this pair I can factor out x so that will give me x bracket open x minus 3. In the next pair I can factor out minus 3 so that will give me minus 3 bracket open x minus 3 again. Now let's rearrange them. So we have x minus 3 times x minus 3 is greater than 0. So if you were to assume that instead of uh, greater than 0 we have equals to 0. So that will lead us to the conclusion that x equals to 3 or x equals to 3. This is what we call repeating roots or this is what we call equal roots. The roots are the same. So let's switch to the color black. Here we have the x-axis and, and, and here we have the y-axis. Now I'm going to sketch this curve. Notice that this curve has an x-intercept or you can say that it is touching the x-axis at x equals to 3. So 3 will be somewhere here. This is 2, this is 1 and of course this is 0. So our curve will look something like this. Let's label our axes, the x-axis and here is the y-axis. Now. I'm going to switch to the color blue because as, as we did previously, I want you to think of the x-axis as the surface of water. Now let's go back to the inequality sign. First let me switch to a different color. I'm going to go with green. Yes. Now let's go back to the question. Here we have greater than zero. Greater than zero means we want the part of the curve that is above the surface of water. So notice that when x is equal to 3 exactly, our curve is just touching the surface of water. And we are interested in the part of the curve that lies above the surface of water. So there is basically only one value for which the curve is just touching the surface of water for the remaining values whether they are on the left side of 3 or the right side of 3. Our curve is lying above the surface of water. Again, whether it's on the right side of 3, even if I in increase my x in the positive direction, our curve lies more and more above the surface of water. And even if I were to decrease the values of x and move in the left-hand direction, we'll notice that our curve lies more and more above the surface of water. So there's only one value of x for which the curve is not lying above the surface of water, and that is 3. So our final answer would be x is not equal to 3 or another way of writing the same answer would be all real values with the exception of 3 except 3. This is another way of writing the same answer and by the way one common error that students make at this stage is that when they multiply these two brackets, they obtain x minus 3, the whole thing squared, is greater than 0. And then they take square root on both sides, which further leads to x minus 3 is greater than 0. And the final answer this way comes out to be x is greater than 3, which is 100%, actually not 100%, but it's only 50% correct, because we've noticed here that the only value that x cannot take for this inequality to hold is 3. And here our answer says that x is greater than 3, which is clearly incorrect. x can be greater than 3, x at the same time can also be less than, less than 3. However, it cannot be equal to 3. So this answer is clearly insufficient, which is why it's wrong. This is how you solve such an inequality, always, always with the help of a rough sketch. Because if you sketch it, your chances of error go down dramatically. If you like this video, I suggest you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and happy learning.